Kermit, thanks for making time for us. Thank you, it's all right, man. You know, um, Sean sends his apologies, to him, but he's um, he's got game shows to do. <laughs> we'll come on. We'll come on to sh to Sean later. But first of all, just to mention the fact that uh, Black Grape um, is going to be playing at Millennium Square uh, in Leeds on Friday, the August the second. Um, but there's a stunning cast. Just tell me about it. Tell me Who's what on? you're going to be doing. Yeah. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna be playing. Um, Doing our thing, you know. Um, Caster on, um, Dodgier on. Should be all right. Have a good time. I know I will. You know? <laughs> it's in Millennium Square. It's part of what they call the summer series, and uh, they're bringing the the Brit pop and the, the indie pop. legends oh, down Brit there. pop. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Do you know what I mean? Like, because because personally, we we you know consider ourselves Black Grape as being part of that because. Um, you know, we're, well, we're, not, we're not too big on the jingle jangle guitars, you know let, what I mean? We well, I well, I'll tell you what, let's <laughs> just for the uninitiated, let's the just tell them the story about Black Grape because it basically, it, it spilled out of the, uh, at the end of well, uh, Happy well, Mondays. Well, well I, um, I've, it was, I knew Bez for a long time. Me and Bez has been mates for, for years. And, uh, and I was in a band called the Rap Assassins. I didn't know about the Mondays then. And then one night he, he came around one night and he says, Oh, I'm in a band and we're, we're playing at the Hacienda. And I was like, What? You're in a band? What do you do? I said, okay. So I went down and um, that was when I met Sean, the first time I'd met Sean. And like he was doing this thing and we said for a while, you know, like we used to hang out every now and again and we said for a while, Oh, we should record something. And then the Mondays imploded and then, and then my band, the Rap Assassins, imploded and we were spending more and more time with each other you know, doing what we were doing at the time. And um, I just, like, instead of just sitting around, you know, like watching Star Trek and getting stoned, let's let's make some music, man. That's what we did. So we did. We started um, messing about, making music, and it, it sounded pretty good. And then it, it all happened quite quickly. But oh, at, but at that know. time, he wanted to put a line, did Sean, under... Yeah, Monday's it was something dinner, else. And start something new. Yeah, it was something else, and, uh, you know... Uh, was... Let's not forget this, we're about 26 years ago now. Oh, it was a long time ago. I still think of uh, Black Grape as a new band, oh. but we've been around a while. <laughs> I know. Well, well, you know, what, we, we released two albums, you know what I mean? And and then we imploded ourselves, yeah. you know Well, you, I mean? your first time went straight to number one. Yeah, Stayed yeah, there the, two fir weeks. the first the first album, um, it's great when you're straight, um, went, yeah, did go straight to number one, you know what I mean? Like, Was that a surprise, or...? Was it a surprise? Yeah, of course it was a surprise, you know what I mean? Uh, and people really took to it, you know, but um, we were trying to do our own thing and not... You know, that's why that um, Britpop thing kind of... Makes me go, makes me, makes me wince a little bit, you know. Um. Um, Happy Mondays has kind of made a resurgence as well. It's come back. Uh. Is that a bit of a distraction from Black Grape? No, or is it's it, not. Which it's, one's uh, the day job? For? Uh, for, well, well, that, that, well, Sean does his thing and I do my thing and we, we can both come together and do this other thing. It's, it's nice. It's nice, you know, it's no secret that me and Sean fell out big style. We didn't talk for, for years, 15, 16, 17 years, maybe. You know. Well, they went through a stage, I think it sacked everybody in the band, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, well... It, you were the first one. Uh, well, that was always going to happen, because I was the first <laughs> one to, to say anything about anything, you know. And so, but, but um, you know, we've, we've come on a, a long way since then. We're both different people. We're more rounded characters, and there's less... Um, how can I put it? There's left effervescence around nowadays, you know what I mean? And and what does Black Grape bring to the party that, say, Happy Mondays or your form band didn't do? Uh, well, well, it's more, you know, we kind of fuse, like, you know, we had this idea of, like, fusing this, like, the stuff that we like, you know, but, but giving it a Mancunian sound and... You know, uh, it's hard to explain. It's just a fusion of different things that that we dig ourselves. But I would, I, you know, I would say uh, things like the Arctic, Arctic Monkeys, for instance, and then and then um, you know where we've seen the split away uh, with Miles Kane and, and and they're doing things like Last Shadow Puppets. Still got a sense of of Arctic Monkey sound. I guess wherever you've come from, you've still got oh, yeah, you, you a know, sense of it, haven't you? you know, I you, mean, some you, people thought that that first album by Black Grape was almost. What Happy Mondays would have put out if it hadn't have been? Oh no 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 not as funky. <laughs> not as funky. I'll not give as you that. funky as us. You know what I mean? That's that's the difference. You know we're like, uh, 
I mean, like, um, me, me and Sean were listening to things like the Ghetto Boys and the Stones and Sly and the Family Stone, Funkadelic, you know, Hendrix. We were listening to a lot of stuff when we were, you and, know, and, and reading and reading books and watching certain movies. So, it, you know, it, it kind of like a, it was more kind of like a score, that our first album, for what was going on in our lives at the time. You know, every track is a true story. You know? And it was a considered effort to actually break away from the past, to actually create something new. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, you know, I, I, I was still smarting about the rap assassins. He was still smarting out about the Mondays, and it was kind of like, oh, we'll show them. And and yeah. twenty six years later, are you still trying to press new boundaries, or are you well, still? We, well, we went into we did a new album, Pop Voodoo, Fable Everywhere. That was a couple of years ago now. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Well, it's still considered new to us because we're still, you know, we, <laughs> it took we, you long enough to it, make this. The... Yeah, it did. It took us a long time to get there, but. Um, it was good. We got straight back into the groove, you know, writing everything. And we're a bit more measured and mature about it. And, and working with youth as well from Killing Joke. He's like, serious dude, man. And in terms of where we go next, are you still writing together? Is there going to be another album? What's happening next? Well, well, um, at the moment, if Sean's going out on the road with the Mondays, I've been um, doing this um, Malcolm, Malcolm F, F stuff. And... Um, and other stuff, and yeah, we're gonna get. You know, we've talked about it. We've just not made a, a a plan in stone yet. But like that's you know, for the last uh, album, we didn't. There was no plan in place really. He, he, he was gonna gonna record a Monday's album, but like the state, there's you know, they've they've all got a say in the Mondays, and the six of them isn't there. Ah. So, so are we it's like herding cats. Are, are we gonna get a fourth Black Great album? Um, yeah, probably, probably. That, you know, I, I, I can't see why not. Have see. you already been writing anything? Um, Is there anything I there? No, or would it be a it's, start from it's, scratch? It's, it's, it's okay. You, you, you turn up with ideas, but then, but then you sort of leave them in your room at the studio and think, OK, okay let's, I like where this is going. And you, you think I'm not going to take this with anything from an outside source. It's going to be all done here, you know, the moment. The moment, because that's that's all we that's all we've got is the moment. But if you were going to give me a, an exclusive here, an I, exclusive, right, how, how long before the next album? I couldn't tell you. Really? I couldn't tell you. Maybe maybe a year. Really? Maybe a year. So how much time when you're not on the road do you still spend with Sean? Um, I see him intermittently. He's got he lives in Manchester, you know, the edge of Manchester, and I live in Chester. You know, we see each other intermittently. He's always doing stuff. I'm always trying to get my head in stuff. I, He's got kids. I've got a little one as well. Life's changed a lot in 26 yeah, years. Yeah, exactly. That's why we can come back together and do and, this. And is Black Grape now a duo? Or do you have session well, musicians? Or it's you always been me and Sean from day one. Black Grape was me and Sean. You know, we had certain musicians in there, like Jed. But you had like Bez in there as well, didn't uh, you? Yeah, well, Be Be Bez was around at, at, at the first, you know, hanging out. You know, but as things went on, you know, he was like, does he still get on stage with the no, anytime? No, no, he doesn't. Or? He doesn't do black great gigs. You know, he's not done one for a while. You know what I mean? But he, he's an old man, aren't you, beauty? <laughs> <laughs> and, and in t and in terms of uh, Sean, Sean's kind of mellowed a little bit now. Isn't oh, he? a bit. He's mellowed a hell of a lot. But so have I. He, he, but he had a lot of demons, didn't he? And it's all very public about what he went through. Yeah, How yeah. much of a changed man is he now? He is. He, you know, he, he he's more measured. You know, he, he you know, does you know. We were both, you know, very off, off the gut, uh, uh, you know, and, and like when you throw drugs and money in, and success into into that mix, it's just a recipe for disaster, you know. You give a load of young guy, twenty year old kids, you know, loads of dough, and they're gonna do themselves in or mm. cause some damage. Do you think it's a surprise that he's still here or you're both still yeah, here? Yeah, well, well, I actually died twice. I, I, I caught septicemia, you know, and um, my heart stopped twice, had to, twice, and I got read the, the last rites and everything. So, like, anything for me now is a bonus. And what was that through? How did you get that? Drug, drug abuse. Wow. Drug abuse. Dirty, dirty needles. Mm. Dirty needles. You've been through it. What would you say to other people out there? Say, don't do drugs, kids. 
<laughs> well, not not nasty ones anyway. <laughs> That's a message these days, isn't it? Yeah, you know what I mean. And Sean's Check clean. Your sources. And yeah, Sean's sh- clean as well. He's clean. You know what I mean. So Does that represent in your music these days as well? Um, Is it the kind of stuff that you tend to write more about these days? What being straight? Yeah. Well, well the first album. First album was, was exactly called, that. Was called um, "It's Great to Be Straight." Yeah, it's, it's like because like, we were trying to be straight when we were going. So would you drop the air yeah, these days? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't walk around in a stupor nowadays. I um, um, I, I own my space now. So you know? how do you get a buzz these days? What how do I get you, a buzz? What gives uh, you a buzz in life these well, days? Yeah, uh, learning stuff. You know, like I was saying to you before, I'm, I'm a big one for this whole counterculture thing, and I read um, Chaos Magic, Robert um, Anton Wilson, and things like that. And, uh, um, and John Higgs, he, he, his book on the KLF, it was, it was like, a, it's what I called, you know, we call it the, the gateway drug. So, so the message <laughs> these days is put down the drugs and pick up a book. Yeah, pick up a book, man. Pick up a book, you know, turn off your mobile, pick up a book. Don't yeah. do audible, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, listen, let's get down to business then. Um, okay. So uh, you're going to be playing Leeds Millennium Square Friday, August 2nd. So just tell me, what can fans expect? Um, all, all the all the tunes, you know, all all, all the tunes, and um, a bit of um, how can I put it? A bit of a bit of kung fu from me and Sean. Not actual kung fu, like a kung fu movie. You know, what I mean, like um, lyrical kung fu. You know, we try and outdo. You know, we have a little joust on stage. You know, like uh, fencing with words. You know, we like to call it, you know, and, and that's how we get our buzz from doing it, you know, and people seem to dig us doing that. Well, that goes back to the old rap, doesn't it? I yeah, suppose, exactly, exactly, you know, when, and because uh, uh, basically Sean is a rapper. Yeah. You know, the way, the, way he, the way he writes and everything and the recording, it's the same way that I work with the rapper sessions and I work in, in the other stuff. So a lot of people think that Sean's just been a front man, but he's actually very talented. No, he's, writer, a very, he? he's, he's a very intelligent man. I wouldn't hang around with him if he wasn't. Do you know what I mean? He's a very <laughs> intelligent man. So we're getting you know, all the hits. We're getting, uh, we're getting all the hits. We're going to uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. three albums. And then anything new, anything we've not heard? Um, well, well, stuff from the... Anything new? No, no, I, 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 no, I don't think so. I don't think we'll be doing anything new, new, you know, from the pop view doing all that. You know, we'll play tunes from the, the three albums, you know. It's a day out, it's, it's, you know, it should be a good day, you know what I mean? I, it sounds like it's going to be fun. It will, and, and we've got some great bands on there with you as well. Um, we've got... Dodgy. Dodgy. Dodgy, Dodgy, always good value. Um, cast as well. Yeah. Cast as well, they're, they're like... Um, the same management as us, so yeah. So if you're into your indie rock, and particularly if you like a funky edge to it, yeah. this is going to be the gig, it's isn't the, it? Yeah, this is the place, you know. Get a few red stripes down your neck and get down the front and, you know. Tell me about Leeds and Yorkshire as well. Have you got any fond memories from Oh, I'll, I, uh, yeah, I have. I used to go down quite often and then hang with Howard Marks and um, Dave Beer. You know, you know, he's well, a big... Dave Bay puts all the club nights. I know he does, he's, you know. Yeah. I, I, he's a I, legend. I, he is, he's, a, he's a legend everywhere, Dave Bay, you know what I mean? Like, he, he's a top geezer as well. And then um, Cleve Freckleton, he lives down there. And um, So you'll be, you'll, be make, you'll be catching up with old friends? Yeah, right? I've, got, I've, got, I've got old mates down there, you know. Do you ever come over to Leeds just for a night out? Has that ever happened? Not for a while. Last time I was there, I went to, I went to church... Um, one of Dave Beer's nights, um, Jelly Bean Burnett was, was playing, you know, the, the producer, he produced um, Madonna's early stuff, he used to uh, play at um, Studio 54 back in the day, you know, D- DJ, DJ royalty, you know, and, and um, Greg Wilson, he, he's been a mate of mine for like f- nearly 40 years, like, he was playing as well, so I had to go, you know what I mean, and it was an excellent night, I always have a good time in Leeds, it's just that I, I end up it ends up being about three or four days. I always end up at Dave Beer's house, you know, and then end up at home in a state and need a rest for a week. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, that's all, all good clean fun, though. <laughs> all right, well, just listen, finally, um, obviously you've had a, a lot of fan following over the last uh, 25, 26 years. Um, uh, what would you like to say to them? Thank you, man, and and um, I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? It's, it's just thanks, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, we try to be as authentic as we can, and uh, I think that's what people can see in us. You know, it's not about, it's never been about 
making dough or anything with Black Grape. It's been about making the best music we can for, for you know, for us and people, people, like-minded people like us. So cheers, man. And, and, and what can the what can the fans do for you when you're on stage in Millennium Square? What to make it a, a to a, make it a, a good great group. gig? Just enjoy themselves, man. Just enjoy themselves, you know, and yeah, keep stomping. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, Kermit, thank you ever so much for your time. My pleasure, mate. And we'll yeah. see you in Leeds. Yeah, blessings. See you soon, Leeds. <laughs>